The Caltrans Workers Memorial is a time to remember those who lost their lives maintaining and operating California's enormous transportation system. This annual event offers us an opportunity to honor and take time to remember the ultimate sacrifice of 189 Caltrans employees, including seven from here in District 9. I have some examples today of some things that uh, more crews have had to deal with just in the last year. Our crews assisted those trapped on flooding roads and in multi-car accidents in Mono, Inyo, and Kern counties. Our crews have hauled out dozens of stranded motorists run off the road in zero visibility. Our snowplow operators desperately flagged down multiple wrong-way drivers over Dead Man's Summit and over the season endured several dozen snowplow rear-end incidents from overzealous, inexperienced, and inattentive drivers. Our crews in blinding snow made the decision to risk themselves by backing up their vehicles on Crooked Creek with flashing lights on, hoping to warn oncoming motorists of the incident just around the curve. Our hazmat crews responded to many, many overturned trucks, but often leaked unknown liquids that they had to identify and contain. The frustration of some of our freeway crews down on State Route 58 they must have felt very frustrated when the Highway Patrol had to issue 18 tickets in one six-hour shift as drivers sped by them at 90 miles an hour, one clocked over 100 miles an hour. I was struck by her passion and knowledge and respect for this mass transportation system. I realized what I take for granted daily is a monumental effort of Caltrans employees to save lives. Here in District 9, Caltrans has to deal with snow, floods, and wind as some of the environmental hazards. These hazards, coupled with drivers who speed or impaired or distracted, affects the safety of the Caltrans workers. These employees are on our road so we can reach our destination, and at the end of a workday, they want to go home to their families as well. Working on the side of a road in the hot and cold conditions is often a thankless job but an absolute necessary one the next time you speed down the highway or start texting on your phone or not paying attention to the road please remind yourselves that you can save a life by slowing down and paying more attention to the road not only for someone else's life but also your own possibly the image of the driver out on the road struggling in the wind stayed in my mind along with the what ifs that come with narrowly avoiding danger and disaster. The recent tragedy that we suffered and you suffered last year solidifies our need to keep our fallen brothers and sisters in our thoughts and in our memories. We will continue our education and enforcement efforts in attempt to reach all drivers, young and old, and we will do everything in our power to apprehend and prosecute violators before another worker or higher patrol officer gets killed. Let us take a moment of silence to honor the 189 employees that have lost their lives working for the Department of Transportation since 1921.